So if I'm interested in exploring textures, before I cut this out, I would maybe experiment with different textures on another piece of clay with the stamps. But say I wanted to make this texture be all over my slab. I would do this before I cut it out because otherwise pressing into the clay like this is going to make it stretch and distort. Also, if you've already cut it out and you do this, then you're going to have to recut your um, design again. So you have to press into the clay while it's still pretty soft or you're not going to see it very well. And then I can go back in with the other side and do these little dots if I wanted to as well. Textures should relate in some way to your design idea. Then I can take my form and put it over it. And because this is dried out just enough where it's not going to stretch too much, I can start cutting it out. But notice how I'm kind of doing this scissoring motion going up and down because if you, if the clay is really soft, it's going to stretch apart and then you're going to need to push it back together. So you're trying to cut this out as close to the lines. I'm trying not to press into the paper very much or it's going to smash my texture. But hold the form down, the paper template, to make sure that you're keeping this accurate. Because if you get some of your accuracy off, some of your design, then your paper pieces are not going to fit together. The clay pieces won't fit together. So here's one of my slab walls then I could do that to the rest of them before I build them up together so I would keep this to the side I have another slab that I would work on and then we'll talk about beveling later I left something in the bathroom mm -hmm. on accident I didn't mean to I okay. just never realized are you I still recording while she's saying all that yes <laughs> okay let's cut it off okay, okay. <laughs> stop it